Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at your weather week ahead and a nice start to the week ahead today as we finally did see the return of some sunshine and of course temperatures have responded as we have warmed into the 50s all across the area. Even warmer temperatures on the way for tomorrow as the sunshine will continue. However, we do have another disturbance which is on the way as we look at the weather pattern. You can see the disturbance here off to our west moving into the Great Basin. This is what's going to skirt its way across the middle of the country and to give us a pretty good chance, in fact the likelihood of some rain uh, beginning late Friday night and that rain chance will continue into Friday. In the meantime, until that disturbance gets here, another nice day on the way tomorrow by uh, December standards as we'll see a cold night tonight with a clear sky, not much wind. Temperatures will dip down into the upper 20s to lower 30s, looking at right around 31, 32 in Shreveport, 28 degrees in Dequeen, 30 in Texarkana, 30 in Natchitoches, and 30 also in Minden. Daytime highs tomorrow all the way up into the lower 60s across the south half of the area, upper 50s further to the north, 57 in Texarkana, right around 60, 61 in Shreveport, 62 in Marshall, or 61 in Marshall, and 61 degrees also for the high temperature in Carthage. Now let's take a look at what is going to be happening as we head towards the weekend. Robbins Toyota Futurecast showing you the clear sky once again tonight across the region. We will see plenty of sunshine once again for your Friday. Notice the wind picking up out of the southeast. Uh, that is going to aid in the warm-up. Also notice the clouds off to our west here. Are those associated with that approaching disturbance. So we'll uh, move this forward. You can see the scattered showers beginning to move into the region late Friday night. And then the rain will pick up in coverage and intensity as you can see here heading into Saturday. Futurecast is a bit more intense with the rain than most models are. Uh, most models right around a half an inch as far as rainfall potential here. We will see the rain gradually taper off and come to an end as we look ahead to Saturday night and Sunday. In fact, here's a, a longer range version of Futurecast showing the rain wrapping up Saturday night and we'll probably close Sunday with some sunshine across the region. And once that sunshine returns, it probably will stick around through Tuesday and then we'll see another disturbance approach the area. A quick look at uh, rainfall potential. This is probably one of the pessimistic models uh, showing, uh, again, uh, nothing hardly at all for the northern parts of the area. Uh, rainfall totals half an inch to an inch to the south. I do anticipate around a half an inch or so uh, a good possibility across the region uh, anywhere in the Oracle text for that matter, Friday night through Saturday. And we may add just a little bit more to that as we look ahead to next Wednesday. Here's a look at the pattern. You can see the disturbance coming in, basically Friday night, Saturday. That whips on through. Upper level ridging here is going to warm us up mid to upper 60s by Tuesday. And you can see a pretty good trough is going to develop here across the middle of the country. That's going to quickly push through a cold front. Big question is when will the rain develop within this, uh, along and ahead of this front? It's quite possible it may develop to our east and move away. Uh, so we're kind of on the border of whether or not we're going to see much as far as rain. So right now rainfall chance is looking slim. If this were to slow down some, we might see that rainfall chance go up for Wednesday. And with this big ridge here across the west, you can see it goes all the way up in Canada, grabbing that Arctic air, sending it southward. We will see a pretty good cool down here for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day as temperatures return to below normal temperatures. But we will see, again, with this northwesterly flow, uh, lots of sunshine for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So all that being said, here is a look at your seven-day forecast. And you can see that uh, tomorrow we will see highs in the low 60s uh, across much of the area, 50s north, uh, with the clouds and rain, upper 50s for Saturday. Once the sunshine returns, we warm back up. First day of winter, not too bad at 65. We will see uh, 67 for Tuesday. There's that slight chance of rain Wednesday ahead of the front, 65. Behind the front, you can see Christmas Eve, we'll see a high at 52. Probably low 50s for Christmas Day, with lows Christmas morning in the upper 20s to lower 30s across the region. And then we'll start to modify things as we go through Christmas weekend. So I don't know, best chance of rain in the week ahead will be Saturday. Quick half an inch will be possible, and then relatively dry and mild conditions for most of next week.